the designer video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you the cog tool. Now, the cog tool can be found via the underneath the triangle tool and cog tool there. So basically, go down there, cog tool. Now, just drag that out. Now, there's a number of settings here. You can see little spots. You can actually modify the design just by changing those, changing that, just by selecting those little spots or dots. Just move that around. So there's a whole variety of different cogs that can be created just by doing that. You can also change the hole radius as well as the inner radius. Personally, I prefer just setting them up here. So curvature and teeth, and I'm just gonna just set the teeth. Now the teeth setting, you can only set there. So that's just the only place for the teeth. You can then modify that and you can see inner radius, hole radius, modify that as well so you can create many different designs very thin now if you get the whole radius and the inner radius together you can actually see what happens you end up with a sort of gaps that have appeared and again you modify the teeth so you can make teeth there you can also change that reduce that down change that reduce that down create a sort of interesting starburst design now you can also modify the tooth Modify that, you can see you can create sort of different designs just by that. Of course, what you can do then is duplicate that so you can actually create another one. You can see you can create some very unusual designs that way. Don't want to do that, I'm just going to go back to there and notch size. You can modify that. So, literally, thousands of different designs can be created just by changing this inner radius, whole radius, two size, etc. Now, what you can also do, I'm just going to remove that. You can change the color, add effects, and much more. You can go to their 3D, that's quite a nice one. They're still live as well, so you can actually just change things there. You can see you've still got that nice 3D effect. Might modify the color as well. Great design. And then just go over there and select that. Right. Once you've done that, you can also just quickly convert to curves. So just click there and that's it. Now, once you've done that, you can use these over here, the node, and just select that and modify the design, move it and twist it and turn it and change it in multiple ways to create some very interesting sort of designs. Now, I'm going to go over here, just select that, the cog tool again, and what you can do, you can also use the corner, corner tool, and I'm just going to select that, and you've got various corner types. You can then change that rounded, straight, etc. You can modify the radius and what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all of those and then you can modify that and then you've got a nice curved smooth design so you can just see that there. But unfortunately it's actually lost the uh, actual cog features, you can't actually modify it any further but that's a nice sort of feature and again like and then you can of course go there with the, and just modify again the gear or cog in many different ways. Right, that's a quick run through of many of the features. There's actually one last feature I want to show. You can also, I'm just going to move that, quickly go to here, and of course, what you can do, you can add other paths. So just basically, don't have to keep it exactly the same. So just select, create a circle, select that and that, and then you can unite it. So there you've got a nice sort of different gear design. Of course, you can add multiple cogs, etc., together to create even more interesting designs. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Uh, please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Always adding new tutorials. And also graphicextras.com. Obviously, if you could check that site out. Lots and lots of tutorials for Affinity Designer, as well as Affinity Photo, and many, many more. Bye.